So, so Professor K, the hidden genes of Professor K, yes. you're writing that at the moment. Yes. For a release next year. Um, do you have plans for another book? Do you have an idea for, for I do. after that? So In fact, um, as I've mentioned to you before, I make a point of visiting all the places yeah. mentioned in the book mm. for authenticity, for research, and for a bit of fun. There's a question. Do you decide what places are going into the book and then go and visit them, or do you go and visit places you want to see and then work out a way to write them into your book? Good question. I have a loose outline of the book in my mind. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the places and the storyline is pretty clear. Right. I know the places that will be the key places mm -hmm. in the book, and I plan to visit those as I write, if I can manage that. The current book is a very good example. Yeah. I have visited all the outback settings mm -hmm. of... Uh, the Kimberley the, and... Exactly. Yeah. And um, I'm doing the same for the next book. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will be travelling very shortly. I will be overseas in Europe for two months, yep. visiting the great literary cafes of Europe, or some of them, not all of them. I feel for you. I will start in London and I will finish in Istanbul. And Istanbul is one of the main locations for the book that will come after. After Professor the, K? Yes. Correct. Okay. Yes. Well, so you really have to think in advance if you're going to do this, don't you? I do, mm. because, as indeed has happened with The um, Empress Holds the Key, the first three chapters of the next book mm. are already incorporated at the back That's right. for a teaser. Yep. If I've been successful in, in entertaining my readers, I hope that they would be interested in reading more about my characters and would like to see whether or not there will be another book. Yeah. And those who are interested will find that there is in fact one coming yeah. and it's not that far away. It's perhaps a year yeah. or perhaps less depending on when they read it yeah. and it's coming. Yeah. The first three chapters of the next book are already incorporated. So in one sense I'm always one book in advance, mm. one book ahead. Mm. And indeed when uh, the disappearance of Anna Popov comes out, mm. the first three chapters of the hidden genes of Professor K are already incorporated in that book pop -pop. so that the reader knows what's coming. That must take great discipline. I mean, you, The Empress was released last year. You're releasing Anna Popov a bit later this year. Yes. You're already halfway through press Professor K yes. and yet you're thinking about the book after Professor, K, yes. Professor K but we're still working on Anna Popov, just yes. finishing that off. So to split your focus across three yes. books, that must take great discipline. It does. Yeah. It is an intellectual juggle, yeah. but it's an enjoyable one. Yeah. I find it extremely stimulating, yeah. fulfilling, and most importantly, a lot of fun. I suppose you need to after all those years in law where you've been challenged and having to split your focus. <laughs> it is a new and different career. Yeah. Yeah. You do, however, mm. build on everything that you have learned along the way. Yeah. It goes without saying. Yeah. Writing is one of those things where you draw upon every experience, every little thing that you've picked up, because yeah. it will become relevant and you can hopefully make use of it. Write about yeah. it in an authentic and convincing manner. So the more you have to draw upon, yeah. the more material you will have and the more authentic it will be. Yeah. And I suppose that's what I'm finding interesting about your writing as a retired lawyer. Um, yours is different in that you're not writing courtroom books, you're not writing legal sagas, you're writing international intrigue and, and mystery and um, events. And yes, the Empress holds the key, there was a court case in that, but that wasn't the, the reason for the book, no. as opposed to John Grisham who writes legal, you know, he focuses mostly on legal legal thrillers. Your, your books are just adventure, thrilling, fun. Um, yes. And the law might pop up here and there, yes. but it's not the reason for the books, is it? They are about life. Yes, yeah, they're about life, not law. I have a broad range of interests. Yeah. For example, I studied Egyptology mm -hmm. for two years right. as part of the research that has gone into The Empress Holds the Key. So you did it as research or you did it because you were interested in Egyptology? I was interested in Egyptology and I used that. Right. That helped to... That experience, yeah. I learned to read the hieroglyphs. Right. It gave me an insight into Egyptian culture. 
which yes. of course has become a very important part of that book. Yeah. So I use these intellectual challenges, as it were, as part of the material I can draw on yeah. when I actually write the book itself. Yeah. And I suppose um, you, you'd need that stimulation, wouldn't well, you, you do. after all those years? And, and it's all my interests. Yeah. I'm able to channel into it. I'm very interested in music. Yeah. I'm very interested in history. Yeah. And the way the historic elements are approached, Jenny, are this way. I take a part of history mm -hmm. that is relevant to the storyline. I research it and I ask myself, what if it had happened slightly differently? Yeah. And I shift the events in a subtle way, mm -hmm. but so that the outcome is different. Yeah. You therefore never know where fact and fiction meet. Where the two, one, one end and the second part starts, fact and fiction must fit seamlessly together. I was actually thinking that exactly yesterday about the Empress. I was thinking you cannot tell, uh, and I can remember reading it the first time around and thinking, oh wow, I didn't know that, and then thinking all of a sudden, hang on, that bit has got to be fiction, and I know that's fact, but the bit between, I couldn't, I couldn't yeah. work out where the line had crossed. And that's, I knew I'd been taken out of out That's of the intention, yes. Yeah, that's... Because the, the aim is to entertain. Yes, yes. It's the main aim of this book is to entertain. At the same time, however, convey some valuable information and yeah. interesting factual information that you will hopefully learn from it. Yes. But the fact and fiction merger, yeah. I think that's the real art. Yes. In yeah. bringing the two things together and then... And smoothly. Pre precisely. So it's seamlessly. Yes. So that you're never sure where it is. And that's... Part of the intellectual yeah, game. The challenge you, for you. Yeah. You, yeah the challenge. The Correct. You. That's yeah. exactly right. Well, Gabriel, look, thank you for joining us today. It's been, it's been great an to absolute hear. Absolute pleasure. Jenny. Good. I always enjoy talking to you. Good. As you know. Likewise. Um, enjoy your research trip to thank Europe, you. the European summer. I would be lying if I said I wasn't jealous. Right. So um, okay. enjoy it very much, and we'll look forward to the release of Anna Popov in November this year, November 2014. Correct. And, um, and hope to see you back here in the hot seat next year um, prior to the release of The Hidden Genes of Professor Kane. Jenny, it's been a pleasure talking to you as always. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Gabriel.